Hello guys, this is Arvind here from Mind Magics, and today I welcome you all to this amazing video on comparison between Tableau and Power BI. Okay, so before we move any ahead, let us have a quick look at the agenda for today's session. Okay, the agenda is pretty much simple. First, we'll have a look at what exactly is Tableau, and then we will have a look at what exactly is Power BI. And then we will focus on the main topic of this session, that is the comparison between Tableau and Power BI. I hope this is pretty much simple and clear to all you guys. Okay, so before we move ahead, I request you to please subscribe to Mind Magic's YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from us. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, the first point is what exactly is Tableau? So Tableau is a powerful and one of the fastest growing business intelligence tools in the business intelligence world. It helps organizations in simplifying the data so that it can be understood by anyone else easily. Okay, so Tableau enables you to create compelling worksheets and dashboards. Employees of any level can easily understand the visualizations that are created by Tableau. Okay, so this was a brief overview about what is Tableau. Next, we will talk about what exactly is Power BI. So Power BI is a BI tool that helps non-technical users with the tools in aggregating, analyzing, and presenting the data in the visual format. The user interface of Power BI is highly intuitive and it can be easily integrated with other Microsoft products. Okay, so I hope you guys must be knowing that Power BI is a tool from the tech giant called Microsoft. Okay, so this was an overview about Power BI. And now let us just focus to the main highlight of this session, that is the comparison between Tableau and Power BI. So in this topic, we will be comparing Tableau and Power BI based upon a few parameters. Okay, so let's start comparing Power BI and Tableau based on data visualization. Okay, so Tableau and Power BI both are unique and both come with unique features to visualize the data. Okay. So Power BI suits best if you want to apply visuals and to modify the data. If your primary goal is to visualize the data, then the best tool here is Tableau. If you talk about Tableau, it works better with a large number of data sets and it comes with effective drill down features. And as far as data visualization is concerned, in Power BI, it is much easier to upload the data sets. Here you can have various visualization types as your blueprints. It comes even with the drag and drop features that make your work easier and effective. And if your primary motive is data visualization, then as discussed earlier, Tableau is the best option. In data visualization perspective, Tableau comes first and Power BI focuses more on predictive modeling. Okay, so I hope you guys are clear with this point, data visualization. Okay, so let's just move on to the next point, which is cost effectiveness. Okay, so cost parameter brings a vast difference between these two BI tools. Tableau is costlier when compared to Power BI. If your organization size is larger and you're able to spend more for visualization, then you can opt for Tableau, which comes at a cost of thousand US dollars for a yearly subscription. When we consider a monthly subscription, the pro version of Tableau comes at the cost of $35 per user. And now if you talk about Power BI, it comes 10 times cheaper if you compare it with Tableau. The yearly subscription fee for Power BI is $100. US If you are opting for the monthly subscription Power BI professional, then it comes at the cost of $10 per user. Okay. So the next point here is the deployment. Okay. So when it comes to implementation, Tableau comes with more flexible and easily customizable features. Tableau is available in both models, such as on-premises and cloud, whereas Power BI is available only in the SaaS model. So SaaS is nothing but software as a service model. The problem here is that if your business model does not suit the SaaS model, it means you're not able to opt for Power BI. Even though the subscription cost is high, because of its deployment flexibility, it has got popular in terms of deployment. Okay, so let's just move on to the next point, which is the data analysis. Okay, so if your goal is to have in-depth analysis of the data, then Power BI is the best choice for you. 
This is because it allows you to create relationships between the data sources. And now if you talk about Tableau, from the data analysis perspective, Tableau comes with highly capable features. It enables the user to study the real-time trends with its minute trends and helps you in the effective usage of the data. Okay. So the next point here is the data handling. Now, if you talk about Power BI, so each workspace or a group can handle data up to 10 GB. Okay. For more than 10 GB data, either the data needs to be present in the cloud, which is nothing but Microsoft Azure. And if it is in the local databases, then Power BI just selects or pulls the data from a database and it does not import the data. Okay. And now if you talk about the Tableau, so Tableau works on the columnar based structure, which stores only the unique values for each column, making it possible to fetch millions of rows. Okay. So let's just move on to the next point here, which is nothing but the user interface. Okay. So when it comes to user interface, Tableau has got the slick user interface when compared to Power BI. The interface of Tableau enables you to create and customize the dashboards according to your requirements very easily. And now if you talk about Power BI, it has an intuitive interface that allows you to operate and learn very quickly than Tableau. In terms of ease of usage and simplicity, most of the people prefer Power BI over Tableau. Okay, so as you can see here, Tableau is not that much preferred for user interface as compared to Power BI. Okay. The next point here is the customer support and community. Both the tools are competing with each other in terms of serving their customers. Now, when it comes to community support, Microsoft Power BI has a smaller community compared to Tableau due to its late entry into the market. Okay. So Tableau has a far more customer support and a huge community support in terms of usage. Okay. So the next point here is the functionality. When it comes to the functionality factor, Tableau can provide answers to the questions that customers would often ask as compared to Power BI. Tableau analyzes the data from the users and provides the insights which are better than Power BI. Okay. Let's just move on to the next point here, which is nothing but integration. Okay. So Power BI has API access and pre-built dashboards for speedy insights of some of the most used technology out there like Salesforce, Google Analytics, email marketing, and of course, Microsoft products. Okay, so you can also connect to the services within your organization or download files to build your own visualizations. Okay, in order to connect any data to Power BI, you can use the get data feature of Power BI. You'll only need to go through a short authorization process in order to get fully connected to the data. And now if you talk about Tableau, so Tableau has really invested heavily in integrations and connections to the bigger tools and widely used connections. You can view all the connections included with your account level right when you log in into the tool. Tableau's connection is a little more involved. And the reason for that is you need to identify which data you must pull into the Tableau and when you must make the connection. Okay, so because of this, it might be helpful to understand what data you want to look at and why you must do it before you start making those connections. Okay, and the last point here is the programming tools support. Supporting programming language plays a crucial role in customizations and development. In the same fashion, these two tools have also been designed to connect with different programming languages in a simple way. Tableau can work better with R when compared to Power BI. It is even possible to integrate R with Power BI with the help of Microsoft Revolution Analytics, but this facility is only available at the enterprise level. Okay. So these were the points of comparison between Tableau and Power BI. And now you must be wondering which is the best tool among these two. Okay. So when comparing Power BI with Tableau, you really have to think about who will be using these tools. Okay, so the question here is the user who will be using these tools. Power BI is built for the common stakeholder and not necessarily for a data analyst. 
The interface relies more on a drag and drop and intuitive features to help the teams build their visualization. It is a great addition to any team that needs data analysis, but without getting a degree in data analysis first. And now if you talk about Tableau, so Tableau is similarly powerful, but the interface isn't quite intuitive, which makes it a bit difficult to use and learn. Those with data analysis experience will have less trouble in cleaning and transforming the data to create visualizations. But those who just want to get their feet wet will likely feel overwhelmed with the uphill battle to learn some data science before making the visualizations. Okay, so overall, I would call this tussle between Power BI and Tableau to be a draw. Power BI wins for ease of use, but Tableau wins in speed and capabilities. Small businesses with limited financial and human resources should start out with Power BI, especially if they already invest in Microsoft products. However, medium and enterprise companies that prioritize data analysis and have the human capital to support them will be better off with Tableau. Okay, so this was our comparison between Microsoft Power BI and Tableau. Okay, so I hope you guys have understood whatever we have discussed here and you have also enjoyed this session. Okay, so if you have any queries related to this session, then you can write them in the comments box below and my team is here to help you with all your queries and doubts. So that's it guys from my side in this session. Thank you so much.